If you are selling products via Meta Ads, you should be running Catalog Plus shopping ads. And to run Catalog Plus shopping ads, you will need to create a range of product sets. And in this video, I'll explain exactly how you do that and what product sets you should be creating as a minimum. And finally, towards the end of the video, I'll show you how to structure your Meta campaigns and your ads to really make the best of these to smash your return on ad spend. First, what is a product set? And if you want to skip straight to the how section to set them all up, the timestamp is in the description. So product sets are a way of ensuring certain groups of products can all feature together within a single advert. For example, if you sell a range of clothing, your target customer may be looking for new suits, for example. Now Meta is able to understand this shopping behavior of your target customer. And if you have a product set listing all your suit options and ranges, then you can show highly specific product ranges to your target customer at the exact right time. Not only that, but Meta AI will determine which product, which suit your target customer is more likely to buy, and it will show those within the carousel first. We run hundreds of e-commerce and advertising campaigns and Advantage Plus catalog ads with specific product sets always work the best for producing a high ROAS. Now imagine you're selling holidays. Now it's quite likely people will be looking for holidays in a specific location, for example, Europe. So you would need a European holiday product set. This means that people looking for holidays in Europe can see just your European range of holidays within a single ad. Similarly, they may just want to go to Rome. So if you had a range of holidays available just in Rome, you would want to set that a specific product set to. But just like someone may know exactly the type of product they want, you are going to need product sets to match that demand. Now, you will also have a lot of people who are just general shoppers. They don't know exactly the type of product they want, they just in the market. So you're gonna want a range of more generic product sets too, and probably a set that just has all of your products within one. Now we have to remember that Meta is primarily a demand generation platform. It's how we generate fresh demand for our business, whereas Google is primarily a demand capture platform. Because with Google, people are looking specifically for what you're selling. So you need to have lots of different product sets. Exactly what those product sets will be will depend on the products that you sell and the specific nature of your target customer in your business. But here's an example of a client account. Okay, so this is a client account. This is important because you have to be within the commerce manager. And to find that, you just go into the all tools section and then you're gonna find that. You're gonna find that uh, just down here and it might also be one of the key ranges at the top there. But once you're in, this is what it looks like. And you're gonna to wanna to come down to catalog and go to sets. Okay, so when that loads up, you can see that we've got loads and loads and loads of different product sets all made for this client who sells golf equipment. You can see here that we've got all products, we've got all the range of balls they have, all the specific brands that they sell. When you first integrate your commerce manager, so you can do that in a range of different ways. So you would do that in the partner integration side of Meta Advertising. And when you do it and you create your commerce manager, which we have a video about, about Advantage Plus catalog ads, this is specifically just around how to create the product sets that you're gonna need but when you do it it's going to create a load of product sets automatically so you're just going to have a load of this stuff that is put in there so what i would ensure is whether they've actually done a good job of that whether they've actually put all of the right irons for example golf irons in the right product set because sometimes that can misfire but to create your own product set is really really simple come up here you can create a set and then you can manually select the items or you can use filters to do it now, if I was to use filters, what that means is you're gonna get a search. You're gonna name the set up here, and then you're gonna add certain filters. So you're gonna to wanna to name that something that is gonna be really obvious to you that when you're selecting it, you know exactly what it is because when you go to set up the ads, you're gonna be able to just type in a name in order to find out, you know, to find the set that you want. So you can have, for example, product title, condition is, and the title of the product you might wanna say is, you know, whatever. You can, you can select from down there. You can select by product type, if it's any of these or is not or contains or doesn't contain. So you might wanna can do contain and then do the balls. That is then gonna create you a list of all the products that has balls 
in them. So all of the different golf balls that they sell and you can go through and you can add these in and you can see the different variations that they have. And then quite simply, you're gonna hit create. Now I'm not gonna do that because we've already done that for this client, but you can see here that we have 46 different items under 71 variants. Something that you need to bear in mind, if you sell internationally, you're gonna to have to filter this information so you have like a UK and a US product set for your balls. Because otherwise what's gonna happen is the AI might be showing products with dollar symbols on to a UK audience. There's gonna be a little bit of a mismatch and you're gonna suffer some performance issues as a result. The other way to do it is to manually select your item. So if I click there, exactly the same. You're going to name the set that you wanna create. Um, you might wanna do all, let's go tailor-made all tailor-made clubs. So you're gonna select all of your tailor-made and you're just gonna go through and you're gonna do that. But the more products that you have, if you've got say under 500 products, this might be a great way to do it. If you're a company like John Lewis or you know, you've got tens of thousands of products like many businesses do, this is gonna be a real nightmare. So you can do things like bulk ads and you can, you can search by the item name or the ID name. So it's very, very similar to what we did before. So in terms of the different product sets that you need, you have to really think about your target customer. If I'm shopping for golf clubs, I might be interested in a specific brand. So if I'm going into Google and I'm entering things like tailor-made golf clubs or new irons for, I don't even play golf, but new irons, for example, uh, which is a type of golf club, you're gonna want a range of all of your different irons, but you're also gonna want a range of all of your tailor-made ads. Similarly, somebody might just want some golf balls. So you're gonna to need to have a product set with all your golf balls. Because what this means is when they're scrolling through Facebook and Facebook's systems can interpret the type of products that this individual is in the market to buy, when they see an ad, they're just gonna see the stuff that they really want to see. So that allows you to be super, super specific and relevant to the shopping behavior of your target market. Conversely, Let's say I was a key golfer, but I'm not really looking to buy anything. Like I said, meta is demand generation. So I can just have an all product carousel because it might be that my golf bag or my, uh, the trolley or something is looking a bit worn. I've been wanting to replace it for a while. You can just start getting these products in front of people in order to tempt them onto your website. When they then go onto your website, the pixel and the conversion API is understanding the types of products that they're interested in and it will go, aha, this individual is looking at golf bags and they're looking at lots of different ranges of golf bags. So the next time they see an ad, they're not gonna see all products, they're gonna go straight in and they're gonna have an ad with all of your different golf bags all lined up in an endless scrolling carousel so they can really play and interact with that ad. So from that, you can see why it's so powerful. Okay, so finally, how do you actually set those ads up and link your ad to relevant commerce manager and product sets that you've already created? So this is just an example of a client account. We'll anonymize this as best we can. And what we're gonna do is in the ad section, we're gonna scroll down a little bit just below where it says destination and come to add sources here. So this is kind of like where in a traditional ad, you would input your media. You don't need to do that because with an Advantage Plus catalog ad with a product set, it's gonna be pulling the media from your website via the pixel and conversion API. So first of all, you just gotta make sure that you add the correct Shopify product catalog or any other product catalog. You know, not every e-commerce business Shopify, there are loads of other options out there and they've all got, or most of them have got good integrations. And then secondly, down here, you just link the product set. So you just select that this is an all product ad just to give you an idea, but we can quite easily, I won't, but we could quite easily switch it to electric trolleys or featured products or golf balls or golf bags or anything like that, okay? And then what you'll see here is, because it's all products, they're just gonna get a range of different products. But actually, when they see that ad live, that scroll, particularly on Instagram, is gonna be almost endless. They can just keep going and going and going and going. And then quite simply, just create your different ads and each different Ad. So we've got an all product set and then you might want one, a different one that just targets golf balls and you know any other product sets that you particularly want to push out there and advertise. So I hope that helps. That is how to create a product set 
with meta advertising and how to use it and hopefully a bit of information about why that is so important i guarantee you if you are selling products and you are using relevant product sets integrated into an effective campaign you will improve your roas and hopefully make lots and lots of money so don't forget to like and subscribe see you next time